Um, we're gonna call it one of our local sports store that uh, a male and two females possibly are involved in the theft that they're concealing merchandise, actually trying to put it on and then walk out the front door. So we'll get there, see if we can't locate them, either still inside the store or possibly leaving the vehicle and get them stopped. All right, the other three should be in the fitting room from what we understand. How you doing today? Step over here for me. Me? Yep. Okay. Oh my goodness. Step over here. here take guess? her over there. Okay. Hey, how are you today? You can step over here for me. You want to walk with her? Oh, right over there. Yeah. Okay. We got three of the four detained. Um, the fourth male is still in the changing room. I just saw him put on another pair of jeans and another pair over that. So just observed the, another theft. Police department, turn around, put your hands behind your back, Please, drop it now. Hands behind your back, bud. Oh. Hands behind your back. Stop, Stop moving. Stop Please, moving. Do not, do not tense up, bud. Do not tense up. This would not be good for you. Got it? Good. That means that's his damn store. All right. Doesn't require the two. All that matters is that you're concealing it. That's all the statute requires. Stand over. Take a step. Here's his phone. All right, we're detained on the fourth, guys. We're about to walk out. This looks like an old pair of Nikes to me. Looks like you're wearing the new ones. Looks like you're wearing the new ones. Come on, bud. You put the old shoes back, man. Pretty flawless. Um, we ended up having three of the shoplifters were actually in changing rooms. Thankfully, they came out one at a time. We got the first female. She came out. We were able to pull around the corner so nobody else could hear what was going on. What are you wearing? OK, well, that is going to have to be restitution, which we're not taking pants off and such. That can be recovered at the jail and impounded later, but you're going to have to wear it for the time being. Did you say, are you going to jail? Yes, if you steal stuff, you go to jail. That's generally how it works. We got this black shirt. We got an orange shirt, another black shirt, a blue shirt, another black shirt. Must be cold. A white shirt, another white shirt, another black shirt, and another black shirt. Where's your car, Seba? All right, we can. Have you got his 14 step ready? You started that? I'll grab mine and pull it up. You got 10 layers on, man. 80 degrees out here. So you know why you're in custody. Obviously, it's not and a crime of century, but you are stealing. OK. Um, I'm not sure where you're going to fall, but if I had to guess between the jeans and the shirt, you may be, depending on what kind of shirts there are, you may be in the grand theft. Um, grand theft for Florida has moved up a little bit. It's not 500, it's 750 now. But uh, you know, PFG stuff, if you got, I don't know, this look like it's yours because it's a little bit dirty, That's but fine. if you got other PFG stuff, you know those run like 60, 70 bucks a shirt anyway, so <laughs> what it is. Are you on probation or supervised release? No, sir. No, where are you from? Mariana. Why are you here? It's because I got all my stuff stolen and I need the clothes. So you decided to come to Tallahassee to steal? I just need the clothes. But they don't got stores in Mariana? No. Pretty sure they do. Not, not decent stores. Everybody will be going to jail tonight, and hopefully it's a lesson for everybody that they can't come to Land County and decide to steal stuff just just because they uh, they don't like the name brand clothes they have in uh, Jackson County. <laughs>